Good evening guys, this is Big Red, and I'm going to teach you how to use the J.J. Keller E-Log. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm about to teach you guys how to use this JJ Keller E-Log uh, right here. All right, if you guys can focus right here, I'm gonna show you how to use it. For the most part, this will give you kind of a general rundown on how to operate this thing so that you can, well, <laughs> use it. All right, so once you log in, once you have your uh, login device, let me go ahead. I'm gonna sign out. Hit the log off button right there. All right, off duty, submit. Okay, when you log off, it's gonna submit all your logs and everything, send everything in, and then you'll be free to go. I'm just gonna make this issue a lot faster. So this is the JJ Killer. Once you log in, it's going to ask you whether or not you want to go on duty, off duty, or what. Being the fact that I'm on my 10 hour break, I'm going to go off duty, actually sleeper berth, and hit submit. All right. Then you'll put your trailer information and everything in as it loads. So let me go ahead and do that. Then once you put your trailer number in, your shipping info, I'm empty so I ain't gonna worry about that. At the bottom you'll have your unit number, then you hit okay. Now you're on your home screen, you're good, all right? So once you get in here and you go to do your pre-trip, you go, you have your home screen. You'll hit vehicle inspection. And it'll say you want to be in on duty, which I'm not going to uh, go in on duty for this situation because I don't want to kick myself out of the clock. But you go in on duty, you'll put in your unit number. It'll automatically download your mileage from your e logging device, a uh, little box that you have included and then you can go ahead and do your pre-trip inspection. All right, I'm just gonna basically show you in this video how to run your, fa uh, how your, for your face right here, your uh, main screen, your title screen. I'm gonna tell you everything about it and how to properly operate it. Let's see if uh, I can get some better light that might. Yeah, there we go. Now the, now the camera can focus. All right, roadside inspection. This is if you get pulled over by DOT and uh, they want to do it at level one or level two, level three, whatever inspection on you, this is the screen you need to go to. How you get to that, on your main screen, you see this roadside inspection, hit that right there. Now either he will give you a email address to send it to, if he does that, you'll um, sit there and hit data transfer you hit data transfer you can put in the email address and send the log to them if they're in regular if they're just going to inspect you on the side of the road hit this second option roadside inspection mode you'll put in um, your own four digit code right there it'll say enter log on password that right there, you put in your own code on that. Don't put in just some random number you're gonna forget. Put in that four co digit code that you will remember. That way, when they do a level one, level two, or level three on you, they cannot access anything else on this logging device. It locks them out of everything, except for your logs. 
So be sure to put in a password you'll remember because in order to get back to your logs, you have to put that password back in. We'll go ahead and exit out of that. Now you've got messages. If you're dispatcher and everything, I'm an owner operator, I ain't gonna worry about that. But if you got messages from your company, you'll get them on this message board. You'll have your unread messages on the second tab right there. You'll have all messages on the first tab and when you're done with it, just hit done and it'll send you back to your home screen. Next, this right here, this ELD 304 online, this little green button right here. If it is green, your e-log is connected to your truck. If it is blue, it is not. If it is blue, you may need to look at your box, reset your box, there's a little reset button on it. That way you can reset your box so you can actually sync your logging device up to it. If you're also having problems with that, make sure your Bluetooth is on. So that way it'll actually connect through your Bluetooth because that's how it connects. Um, but let's go into the view log section. All right. Now up here is all of your logs. This shows all of your driving and everything. It'll show you all of your hours, how long you've driven, how long is on your 70 and everything, all of that, every time you gotta take a break, stuff like that, it'll show all that. The third option is view your clocks. As you can tell, I run my clocks down pretty close. <laughs> um, but, this will show whenever you put the vehicle in gear and you drive down the road, these three clocks will show up and you'll have your 70 right here, your 14 hour and your 11 hour. Now, something weird with a JJ Keller, unlike keep trucking and everything, these clocks are different from each other. If your 14 hour clock is down to 21 minutes like mine is notice your drive time is still sitting at an hour and 56 minutes it's weird it doesn't count down all the clocks together they're all different so you make sure whenever you're running your logbook on these to keep track of all of your logs to keep track of all of your hours to keep track of everything you need to focus on all three of these clocks compared to just one of them. Because if you focus on one, you'll probably end up in violation, just to let you guys know. All right. Next, recap info. This is your fourth on here, on your uh, little tab on the side. This shows all recap hours that will be coming onto your clock. I'll also, on the bottom of your screen here, it shows all of your recap for the next time whenever you run out of your 70. The fifth option is your trip in, trip information. This shows your trailer, your shipment info, and your unit number. Uh, that way, if you need to access it really quick, any uh, remarks that you've added to your logs is the sixth option. That shows anytime you, uh, anytime you need to go back in and sit there and make a remark like fueling or anything like that, you can go back in and do that. So let's go ahead and exit back out of this. That is your main settings on your face, on your uh, your home screen right here. I just wanted to let you all know that. And you also have a menu tab right here in the corner. Click that and it has everything as well. Anytime you wanna add a new status, you can just hit new status on here and it makes it a little bit easier instead of going through your logs. Or you can just click right up here at the top and uh, make a new status as well. When you go to log off of your tablet, I don't know if you guys are team drivers or anything like that, but if you need to log out of your tablet, let your other driver go in, you just hit log off, and you'll hit, it'll have uh, settings here, off duty. When you wanna start it, you just hit submit. And then it'll go through all this. You wanna certify your logs, yes, agree and then it'll go through a screen right here and submit everything. Notice it's going through the settings, it's successfully submitting everything, and then once it's done, it'll log you off. But I just uh, wanted to let y'all know how to use this uh, logging device. This is the JJ Keller. 
Um, and that's how you do the home screen. Um, if you guys uh, want any more uh, things as far involving the JJ Keller, my bad, lighting sucks. Uh, the JJ Keller, just let me know. Send me a message, uh, comment on the on uh, YouTube, and I will make uh, new videos for it. Uh, like always, keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up. This is Big Red coming to you from Heaven Bound. Have a nice one.